Hi, I'm Musar. If you're just interested in getting the preset, click the link in the description below. I'll be explaining how to use that before I dive into all the details. This is Ableton specific and requires a sweet edition of Live 11 as well as the CV Tools Pack to be installed on your computer. If you don't use Ableton Live, don't worry, there are ways to translate this, but I'll go into more detail about that later. Once you've inserted the modulation CV rack into a MIDI channel in your DAW, set the CV in to the track that you selected with the pre-effects option for the phase plant chain in the submenu. If you're modulating another MIDI instrument, you can load it into another chain in this instrument rack. Otherwise, you need to route MIDI into the channel in order to trigger the wavetable oscillator in the phase plant patch. Once that's set up, all you need to do is load your modulator of choice and route its modulation into the wavetable frame 100%, from frame one if you're doing unipolar, or from frame 128 if you're working with bipolar modulation. The rack is now all set up. Add modulators inside a phase plant or destinations within the CV in device. I got this idea from a tutorial by AU5 who set up a version of this with Serum. I'll throw a link in the card and in the description below. The CV in modulator takes the audio output from phase plant and converts the DC offset into a modulation value. This is the only thing you'll need to replace if you're using this in another DAW. For example, Fruity Peak controller inside of FL Studio should work similarly. When setting up the CV in for the first time, you need to pay attention to the voltage range. I found 1.75 volts to work for this, but other DAWs might require different ranges. Building the wavetable inside a phase plant is fairly simple, but does require a little bit of care. Start with a blank wavetable and use the waveform curve tool to set a DC offset of minus one on the first frame. Once that's accepted, we need to take care of the zero crossing that the editor expects to be there. Use the direct harmonic editing tool to remove all of the harmonics, leaving only the DC offset. Click over to the final frame and repeat the same process with the waveform curve and harmonic editing tools, only this time with a DC offset of plus one. Now that frame one is at DC minus one and frame 256 is at DC plus one, you can use the crossfading tool to create all the intermediate values and finish the wavetable. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. If you found this information useful, drop a like or leave a comment. Thanks to all my supporters over on Patreon. If you'd like to join them, check the link in the description below. Be sure to check out my Discord or my Twitter to see what else I'm talking about. Thanks again and have a great day.